Okay, it finished downloading the updates. Now we're installing them. And if you haven't skipped past this part of the video, you're total geek. Sorry to say. <laughs> if you like to watch a video of uh, installs installing a solid state drive, yeah, you're just like me. I'm curious to see how long the uh, malicious software uh, removal tool takes to install. That usually does a very fast, quick scan of the system. It usually takes two, three minutes on a computer. So I'm curious to see how fast it installs in this one. Now this part's also doing a lot of writing, um, not so much reading. The read and write speeds I don't have them in front of me, but they were pretty close, around 250 to 270 megabytes per second. Um, so we'll see. Here's a uh, .NET Framework 3.5.1. Those generally take quite a while to install. Actually, .NET anything takes quite a while to install. And that finished. I would actually like to see .NET 4.0 install. I've never really found um, Vista and 7 updates go really that fast. Um, Windows XP, I do a lot of reinstallations and oh, XP ins installs, for updates anyway, are so much faster. Okay, here's another .NET framework, a service pack 1 for 3.5. That one usually takes quite a bit of time. And it's done. So I would say that one took about 20 seconds, which is pretty good. Okay, 32 of 59 for the bandwidth impaired watching this on 480p.
overall, um, I got nothing to compare it to at the moment, but it seems like it um, goes pretty quick. I'm curious to see how fast it configures the updates upon reboot. Doing the stage, um, yeah, well, that's Vista 1 of 3, 2 of 3 and 3 of 3, but uh, I'm curious to see how it works. Now after this, there's really no applications installed. I mean, you pretty much saw how fast it worked to begin with. Um, I'm going to bring a little memory stick up here and we'll install Firefox. Um, do a first boot on Firefox, install some add-ons, reboot Firefox. Um, install some other applications that I have with me. And uh, I think we'll even install Securnia 2.0 and tell it to do a um, security scan. See how quick that goes. We'll have all sorts of fun. Chances are the video will be made into two parts, hopefully not three, because that would be, <laughs> I think, quite a long video. For the bandwidth impaired, we're now up to 41 of 59. Yeah, the band with impaired looking at that thinking, all I see is a green bar going across. Can't read any of that there text. It's just one big blur. Yes, it is. And they probably don't talk like that. That was cool. Okay, here's um, .NET Framework 3.5.1. Whenever I see the .NET framework, I always think, oh god, it's going to take forever. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Those .NETs are installing quite quick. This drive I got for, um, a hundred bucks, free shipping. No rebate. I hate rebates. Um, yeah, 40 gig for a hundred bucks, with, um, write speeds of upwards of 250. That was pretty good. Okay, once it finishes, I'm going to go ahead and um, stop the video and start it back up before I reboot, just in case this camera hits its 12 minute mark and then dies halfway through the process. It doesn't really give me a timer, so we're just going to assume. Uh, it's been 12 minutes. And, um, yeah, my version of Office is also on a ISO image. Um, I just created an ISO to make it easier to reinstall. So, we'll go ahead and put that in the computer too and mount it as a virtual drive and do a, uh, clean install of Office with an ISO and see how fast that goes.
six more updates. Here's a removal tool. This one usually takes quite a while. This one should be mostly read speeds. It's mostly um, just reading. Oh my god, it's done already. That was quick. <laughs> 